This June, Lota Art Walk celebrates National Pride Month, and we at the Mobile Arts Council have two LGBTQ artists and an LGBTQ ally represented in the gallery with two colorful and captivating exhibitions, Entomology and Funky for Mobile. Most pieces in both of these exhibitions are for sale, and many have already sold, so swing by and snag an original work of art for yourself before it's too late. We are going to begin today's tour with Funky for Mobile, an art experience by Ginger Wochan. Funky for Mobile is a combination of Ginger's palette knife and brushwork techniques and celebrates the vibrant culture and immense beauty found throughout Mobile. Ginger Wochan is a professional artist, art instructor, therapist, muralist, life painter, contemporary artist, Reiki practitioner, and as many of you know, the Dancing Queen of Mobile. Born in Norfolk, Virginia and having lived all over, Ginger has made quite the name for herself here over the last 14 years. Having grown up around her artist mother and great-grandfather, Ginger has always felt like she was raised to be an artist. Her style is heavily influenced by the Impressionist movement, specifically, as you can tell, by Van Gogh. Ginger's two main styles, utilize a palette knife or a paintbrush to make her creations truly come to life. After fleeing LSU's campus in the wake of Hurricane Katrina, Ginger attended the University of South Alabama, where she completed her Bachelor of Arts degree in 2010. Though she has always imagined she would end up in New Orleans, the city of her dreams, Mobile has made its way into Ginger's heart. She has realized that going with the flow and loving where you live is ultimately important to her. And that is what is showcased in this exhibition. The majority of Ginger's pieces are for sale and they are all priced to sell. She's already sold many of these works shown in this gallery tour video. So make sure if you're interested in something to give us a call or swing by the gallery and check out the show. Here you can see many of Ginger's works, which are mixed media. Some have collage, resin, pieces of glass embedded inside. Throughout Ginger's exhibition, you'll see many hot spots found throughout Mobile. Right here we've got Callahan's. Many of you around my age or older will remember Picklefish, now Loda Beer Garden. And of course, Ginger has many pieces that pay homage to Mobile's original Mardi Gras. Here we've got some little King Cake Baby mixed medias. And of course her well-known cityscapes from the viewpoint of the Delta. Look at that gator. In many of her paintings, you'll see Ginger's mother, always depicted with a white dog in a red dress, as well as Mobile's favorite Excelsior band in many of the street party scenes. Ginger also has an array of sizes and color schemes of the skyline, complete with resin and glass available in the gallery.
got a big juicy pineapple and some oysters, followed by some abstract pieces. On this wall, you will see some of Ginger's newly styled watercolor mixed media paintings, which are here depicting local favorite scenes, as well as a photo op uh, depicting the yellow brick road from The Wizard of Oz, because Ginger wanted to make this an interactive experience for guests, and she encourages everyone who comes by to see her show to take a picture in front of the yellow brick road. You'll also see many pride-themed paintings representing Ginger's support of the LGBTQ community. This psychedelic painting right here, Ginger made when she was 15 years old. And then we finish her exhibition with the iconic Ketchum Fountain from Bienville Square. Now we transition to our second exhibition, Entomology by Ben Kaiser and Vanessa Quintana. In this world, beauty can be found almost anywhere, from traveling to strolling in the park or even stepping out into the garden. Beauty is everywhere. But Ben and Vanessa would like to turn your gaze to some of the lesser known or overlooked beauties, the ones that you may find just by walking through your yard or turning over a leaf. For most people, when they think of insects, they don't tend to think nice thoughts but Ben and Vanessa would like to challenge your perspective. Entomology is here to open your eyes to the fascinating world of insects, their close cousins, and their environment. They created this collection acknowledging the classic scientific drawing and adding their own artistic flair. They hope that after viewing the show, you will have a new appreciation for the beauty of the insect world. The jewel bug and the moth previously shown, as well as this five-horned beetle, are all done by Vanessa Quintana, who grew up in Hurley, Mississippi, and attended the University of South Alabama, where she earned a Bachelor of Arts with a double major in English and Studio Art. Vanessa builds and paints Mardi Gras figures and floats at the Mirth Company, while also working part-time as a freelance artist. While she mostly does watercolor and marker illustrations, Vanessa is also a very skilled ceramicist. Through her art, she contemplates the cyclical nature of life and death and the separation from that cycle. Vanessa says, I express that the human biology is rooted in the earth and thus kin to it. I observe the microcosm and microchasm. I ponder its infinite and united nature, and I invite my audience to do the same. Whereas this piece here is created by Ben Kaiser. Born and raised in Alabama, Benjamin Kaiser graduated from the University of Montevallo in 2016. There, he received a Bachelor of Fine Arts in both painting and sculpture. His work is mostly figural and nature-related, and these pieces are also his, these mixed-media resin works. 
Although Kaiser is inspired by many of the famous classical artists, he uses their work and adds a surreal spin to bring his artwork into the contemporary light. Primarily works in oil and watercolor and dabbles in mixed media 3D resin sculptures. Kaiser currently is an artist for the Mirth Company and is a represented artist in Stuart Heath Gallery. He can be found on Facebook as Ben Kaiser or on Instagram at ben.kaiser underscore art. This wall is a series, all sold separately, but they look fantastic together of butterflies and moths in these intricately carved boxes. And you can see as the spotlight shines down from up above, it creates a very unique and beautiful shadow on the artwork. And all together, the pieces create a rainbow in honor of Pride Month. Most of the smaller scale work in this exhibition, such as this fantastic moth and this bug, are done by Vanessa. And more of the large scale works and oil paintings are done by Ben. If you're interested in purchasing any of them, just let us know. If you caught our Studio 10 interview the other morning, you would hear that this exhibition was initially inspired by a video game, Animal Crossing, where you can catch bugs and fish. Vanessa played a lot of this game during the pandemic, and Ben and Vanessa, who were good friends, researched a lot of these bugs that you could catch and were inspired to create an exhibition from it. This watercolor entitled Battleground has a lot of hidden little gems, lots of praying mantises all around the orchids ready to attack. This piece has already sold. Way to go, Ben. Now we enter the realm of the many-legged creatures. As mentioned before, Ben and Vanessa are both representative of the LGBTQ community. Vanessa is bi and Ben is gay, and they are immensely talented and wonderful individuals. And at the Mobile Arts Council, we believe that everyone deserves the same rights and freedoms, regardless of their sexuality. And this is a walking stick. How many of you have ever seen a horseshoe crab at the beach at Gulf Shores or Orange Beach? That's one of my favorite memories as a child. And anyone who lives here is very familiar with the golden silk or weaver, aka the banana spider. that is a wrap for our June exhibitions. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch our gallery tour. 
As mentioned before, if you're interested in making a purchase of anything, give us a call at 251-432-9796. Regular gallery hours are 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Tuesdays through Fridays. We'll be open Art Walk from 6 to 9 p.m. and we'll also be open the last Saturday of the month from 1 to 4 p.m.